Hi, my name is Craig Lloyd, CEO of the Murrindindi Shire Council. Thanks for tuning in to Council's COVID-19 pandemic update for Wednesday the 15th of April. The total number of coronavirus cases in Victoria as of today is 1,299, an increase of eight from yesterday, and we still only have the one confirmed case here in Murrindindi Shire. Yesterday, the Chief Health Officer issued a new health alert which included the expansion of coronavirus testing to all people with consistent clinical symptoms. This new criteria should assist in finding cases that are being transmitted within the community. If you or a family member are displaying symptoms of coronavirus, you should follow the advice on the DHHS website at dhhs.vic.gov.au or call the dedicated hotline 1800 675 398. Earlier today, the Premier announced a $500 million package to support landlords and tenants. The announcement, which included $420 million of land tax relief for commercial and residential landlords, meaning that a landlord providing a tenant with rent relief will be eligible for a 25% discount on their land tax and can defer their remaining tax payments until March 2021. Evictions from residential properties are banned for six months, except in a few specific situations, and rent increases are also banned for the same period. The $80 million rental assistance for tenants will provide tenants with less than 5,000 in savings and be paying at least 30% of their income in rent. They will also need to register their updated rental agreement with Consumer Affairs Victoria. More information will be made available by the State Government shortly and we'll provide links to this on our website. As an additional measure by Council to support our businesses, we've removed the annual food premises registration fees for 1920. For businesses including accommodation, food, hospitality, hair and beauty salons, gymnasiums and caravan parks, all fees paid for this period will be reimbursed and these businesses will still be registered. The affected businesses will receive an email in the next week explaining the details of the refund and this is in addition to the measures extending uh, any outstanding current year rates uh, until the 30th of June and the waiving of accrued interest. We've been getting a lot of inquiries about our resource recovery centres. While they are operating normal hours, we are asking the community to limit the number of trips you make. The service remains open primarily for those who don't have a curbside collection service. We do, however, understand that people are using this time to do some work in the garden, clean up around their properties, clean out the shed. Uh, and a reminder, if you are visiting any of our RRCs, we're only accepting card payments and you will also be asked to provide proof that you are a resident in the Murrindindi Shire. And this is to ensure that only our residents are able to access the services and not coming from neighbouring shires where their RRCs may have closed. Our next council meeting is scheduled for Wednesday the 22nd of April. Due to the current restrictions, this meeting will take place via video conference. Councillors will consider agenda items presented in the usual way except that any decisions will be signed off by me as the CEO. And this is part of our emergency delegation that was put in place at the last council meeting to allow for this to occur. The state government has announced today its intention to pass legislation next week to enable council meetings to be formally held via video conference, but obviously that um, change to the act will take a little while to come through. The council meeting agenda will be available on our website from this Friday. Uh, and in, any questions of council submitted prior to 4 p.m. on Tuesday the 21st of April will be read at the meeting and responded to. The meeting will be live streamed and the minutes will be available on our website as normal. Before I go, I just wanted to provide a quick update on council's Capital Works program. Whilst we've had to change the way we operate in recent weeks due to the virus situation, it's still all systems go for our engineers and the local contractors who are delivering these important projects. We've a number of these projects uh, to complete over the coming months and they include uh, safety improvement works on High Street in Ye uh, and also on the Back Eildon Road, the new Murchison Street car park in Marysville, uh, works at the King Lake Memorial Reserve netball courts uh, upgrades and Ye Recreation Reserve facility upgrades. These projects will continue to progress as planned which not only means that our communities will see significant improvements when you can come out of your houses uh, but also at keeping local people and local contractors employed. You can find out more about these projects on our website at murrindindi.vic.gov.au. That's all from me today. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Stay home.